So hopefully you're feeling quite confident with that turn. And now it's time to start moving even further down the hill. And you want to keep them turns quite consistent. So this time, let's try and link the turns, keeping the effective posture and balance again, and just turning those feet. Eventually we want our turns to control our speed and no longer the snowplow. So we're going to remain in the snowplow to start with, but all we're going to try and do is just rotate and point our skis to exactly where we want to go to down the hill. Now what we're going to want to do is we're going to want to make slightly bigger, wider turns, still in the snowplow. To do this, what we're going to need to do is add a little bit more pressure, and that means standing on the ski. Here's a really good training tip that you can do that will really help with this. Imagine you're making a fruit juice, okay, and the fruit is underneath your ski. What you're going to do is you're going to squeeze and press onto that juice on the outside ski, and that should really help you come around that turn, and it'll start making your turn shape slightly wider as well. Well done, you're now moving away from uh, plough turning, but there's a, still a few things to work with. Um, at the moment, you're now adding that pressure and really coming around the turn, which is great. But there's a few fundamental things that you really need to be careful with. Try not to make your ploughs too wide, you want to keep them quite narrow. Uh, this really helps your posture and balance. Also, it sounds really obvious, but just be careful that your skis don't cross at the front. We really want to try and keep them apart. It's time to try and test it on slightly steeper terrain. Maybe try and pick up the, uh, the speed a little bit. Obviously still staying on the blue slopes, but as long as you can control your speed and line by using that plough turn, then it's time to get skiing. See you later.